The Yellowstone just erupted, and look at all the trash exploding in the air. Erupting geysers are said to be a stunning natural sight. But it was probably a lot less when the garbage rain started falling for decades. In its biggest hit in more than 60 years, the dormant ear springs in Yellowstone National Park blew off its top, spewing boiling hot water more than 9 meters 30 feet, into air on September 15. And with it, brought rains of debris thrown up by tourists since the 1930s. After ear spring erupted on September 15, employees found an assortment of strange items strewn across the landscape around the hole. Yellowstone National Park wrote in a Facebook post, Some are clearly historic. They will be inventoried by curators and may end up in the Yellowstone archives. Among the items, National Park officials found cans, part of a wooden block, crumpled paper, plastic cups and spoons, cigarette butts, signs that appear to have something to do with bears, lots of coins, and baby pacifiers. From the 1930s. The park has experienced a new frenzy of thermal activity at Geyser Hill where Ear Spring is located in recent weeks. These included new vents and surface fracturing, and a new thermal feature, which led to the popular pavement closures in the upper geyser basin to prevent people from being splashed by the boiling water. Situated above a volcanic caldera, Yellowstone is famous for its hot and acid spring activity. Every time there was a spike in thermal activity, there was speculation that the volcano would explode. However, there was nothing to worry about in this case. Changes in Yellowstone's hydrothermal features are a common occurrence and do not reflect changes in Yellowstone's volcanic activity, assured the U.S. Geological Survey. Shifts in hydrothermal systems occur only a few hundred feet above the Earth's crust and are not directly related to the movement of magma several kilometers deep. There was no sign of impending volcanic activity. There has been no significant increase in seismicity or wide-scale variation in ground motion. Still, it's strictly against park rules to throw your trash into the geysers, and not just because littering makes you trash. Foreign objects can damage hot springs and geysers, says Yellowstone National Park. By the time ear spring erupts, we expect it to be nothing but natural rocks and water. You can help by never dumping anything into Yellowstone's thermal features. On the Ear Spring Geyser in Yellowstone National Park erupted in its most violent display since 1957. For several minutes, a billowing jet of water soared up to 30 feet 9 meters in the air, chunks of rock and earth spewing upwards. The ground and about 60 years of desire were immediately reversed when the geyser handed over nearly 100 coins that had previously been tossed. Yosemite and Yellowstone. Photos of the two oldest national parks in the world. A few coins are expected. Who among us hasn't thrown a lucky penny into a thermal pit? But park officials were more surprised to discover that decades of man-made trash had also been gushing out of ear springs, some of it dating back to the 1930s. After ear spring erupted on September 15, employees found an assortment of strange items strewn across the landscape around the hole, officials wrote on the Yellowstone National Park Facebook page. Some are clearly historic. They will be inventoried by curators and may end up in the Yellowstone archives. What have people thrown into geysers? Some of the historical detritus dispensed with by ear spring includes a large chunk of cinder block, 
a broken bottle, some metal warning signs, some old aluminum cans, a plastic cup, a cigarette butt, someone's rubber heel insert, an antique pacifier from the 1930s and an 8-inch long plastic straw. Inches, 20 centimeters. Editor's note. Please don't try to drink geysers. Geyser accidentally or was discarded on purpose makes no difference. Either way, park officials wrote, it's bad for geysers. Foreign objects can damage hot springs and geysers, park officials wrote on Facebook. The next time ear spring erupts, we hope it's nothing but natural rocks and water. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, ear spring has erupted four times in the past 60 years, most recently in 2004. This geyser is located on Yellowstone Geyser Hill, not far from the world-famous Old Faithful eruption. Several other geysers and thermal pools showed increased activity around the time of Ear Springs eruption. For example, a new vent appeared and erupted overnight between 18 and the 19th of September. An area about 8 feet 2.4 meters in diameter in the surrounding soil breathes, rising and falling about 6 inches 15 centimeters every 10 minutes, USGS experts wrote in a news release. This increased hydrothermal activity can take place from several days to several years, the USGS wrote. It could also generate a small hydrothermal explosion that would carve a shallow crater into Geyser Hill while spewing a torrent of boiling water and rock hundreds of feet in the air.